join a dating program or go to prison? I guess I'm joining a dating program. Finding you boyfriend based on your internet search yeah, history. Yeah, that's not creepy. Ready for your date. You know what? Why not? I hope you don't mind paying for the bill. Yeah, sir, you can give that to her. I forgot my wallet. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. You can actually just take this and keep the change. Goodbye. Wait, what? Finding another match. Thank you. Sup, girl? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I'm sorry, no. Just, just no. Finding new boyfriend. Just let it be someone decent. Hey, I'm Damien. Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> you seem cold. Here, take my jacket. Thank you so much for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? Thank you for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? That would be my medication. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have even looked. It's all good. You were just being cautious. What do you do for fun? Well, I usually like to go to the park and walk my dog. I bet you and your little dog get a lot of attention on walks. Yeah, she's... How did you know I have a small dog? You just look like the type to have one. Thanks for the tea. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Hope this isn't too forward. So what do you say? Well, it says I have 24 hours to make a decision. Don't tell me you want to wait. I mean, we've only known each other for a few hours, and I would just like to get to know you a little bit better before... before I... Shh, it's okay. I had a feeling you might say that. Let me take that drink. Finalizing your decision. You pick Damien as your boyfriend. Where am I? Hello, Danielle. I hope you slept well. These are for you. I want you to know you're safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you. I've been watching you. You're a stalker, aren't you? I wouldn't say that. More like I'm your biggest fan. You see, I've been following you on social media for quite some time now. And when all of us were forced to join this dating app, I made it my goal to become your perfect match. And thanks to this dating system, I'm now your boyfriend. Anyways, I'd like you to put that on. That's not happening. If you don't wear it, you don't eat. I need to switch my boyfriend. You have already picked a boyfriend, you may not change it. No, please, it is an emergency. Question, is your life currently at risk? Yes! That's all my money in my bank account. Five seconds to decide. Okay, deal. Contacting authorities now. Cheers to us, Danielle. I'm so glad you decided to wear the dress. Where are they? Where's who? You sure you're all right, miss? Danielle! Sir, stop resisting. I love you, Danielle. I'm gonna find you again. I promise. Are you ready to meet your new boyfriend? Let's play a game. Selected. Why would you do that? One of us is going to die now. Yes, but one of us is going to get money. What game are we playing? A game of odds. Heads or tails? Tails. All right, I choose heads then. No. It's tails. Uh, a redo? <sighs> Just the granola bar? Yes. How much? Let's play a game. Selected. What game? Go fish. The ten of hearts? Go fish. <sighs> Joker. What? How did you know? You're a cheater! <sighs> um, I'm home. Sissy, let's play a game! Selected. No, you can't say those words. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. One of us is going to die now. What game? What? You need to choose a game. You need to choose one you're good at. So that you can live. No, I don't want you to die. Sissy, just choose a game. Okay, how about we draw toothpicks? Whoever chooses the shortest stick loses. This is a game of luck. You're supposed to choose a game you're good at. I don't know what game I'm good at. You choose first. I got the short stick. Wait. Let's play a game. I want to make a deal with you. If I win the game, you spare my little sister. But if I lose, you kill us both and you get double the prize money. Deal. What game are we playing? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. scissors. 
<sighs> another day, another charge. What? Mom, I need to borrow your charger. No, I'm using it. I'm only at 10%. I'm going to die. Here, hurry up. <clears throat> it's not working. Let's try this. That's the emergency charger. This is an emergency. <clears throat> it didn't work. There must be something wrong with my charging port. Did I hear something wrong with the charging port? Hold still. Hold what? What happened? You made it worse. I'm at 2% now. There's one more thing we can try. Come with me. Wait. So, you need more charge? Yeah, my dad says you know what to do. <laughs> I have just the thing. Dad, this guy seems sketchy. Put this to your charging port, and whatever you do, don't move. Wait, why can't I move? No question, just do it. I am tired of getting electrocuted. Look at your energy. 200%? But that's not even possible. I have so much energy. I feel so great. My energy hasn't went down all day. Not even 1%. That's great, but maybe you should take a break, Brianna. Not a chance. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I feel great. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I really do. My energy is at its max, and I am loving it. Woo! <laughs> Who are those guys? Uh, those are the mark checkers. What? Didn't you read the pamphlet? <sighs> there was a pamphlet? Max, Michaela Brown. That's me. No, 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 wait. I can't let this happen. If they find out that I have a blue mark, they're going to force me into some sort of arranged marriage. And what if the guy's a jerk? I got to get out of here. Crap, the freaking makeup's melting off. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you out here? Hi, um, I was just going over there because they told me that I'm all clear to go. Who told you that? Um, that was Frank. Frank told me that. There's no one named Frank that works here. Damn it, knew I should have went with John. She's a blue. Get her. Hey, you really thought you could cover up your mark with makeup? Well, actually, it was my friend's idea, but... Quiet. That was a rhetorical question. Now, we're going to have to do something so you don't escape again. What is that thing? What is that thing? This is a microchip implant. Mm -hmm. It's only going to take a second. Oh, no. I'm not good with needles, so... You'll be fine. Hold her arm down. No, please. <sighs> there you go. See? All done. You just injected me with... Uh, don't tell me she's gonna pass out. Oh, come on. It's time to get up. We need to get you ready for the prince. What? Yes, he's here, and you can't meet him looking like that. Says who? Says anyone with eyes. Now get up. Come on, let's go. All right, she's all done. Good. You know, for someone with a royal status, you guys sure do treat me like crap, says the girl wearing a diamond necklace. Besides, you're not royalty just yet. Yeah, so if I were you, I would lose the little attitude, Kay, because your mark doesn't become effective till the prince falls in love with you. And what if he doesn't? Hmm, I don't know if I should tell you. We're going to go get the prince, so you better stay put. <laughs> what? No, it's just, it's kind of funny. It's not like I can really get away, because, you know, there's a tracker in my wrist. I bet this guy is so stuck up and so conceited. I mean, how dare they, really, pair me with some super hot guy hi <laughs> i'm justine you're not quite what i was expecting oh well um you aren't exactly what i was expecting either but you know in a good way <laughs> yeah same you know this whole system is pretty messed up i know tell me about it right i mean do they put a tracker in your wrist too yep they did but i have a plan to escape these guys and get both of us our freedom hmm you do well okay i'm listening Guys, I have fallen in love with her. Yeah, we're ready to get married. We just have a few minor requests about the wedding. Oh my gosh, of course, princess. Whatever you want. We thought you might say that. How did you get them to leave us alone? I told them I had a little surprise for you. But why would they need to leave us for... Oh, that kind of surprise. <laughs> it's time to take your track route, so hold still. Fine, but from a scale from 1 to 10, how bad is it going <laughs> to... Are you okay? We thought we heard screaming. Yeah, I'm fine. Things were just getting a little rough in here. Oh, <laughs> well, your wedding is ready. Okay. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Wait, I, I have a confession to make. I'm, I'm pregnant. And he's not the father. 
What? I can't believe this. Well, it's too late. We're already married now, which makes me the princess, and what I say goes. And right now, I order all of you to leave us alone. You heard her, guys. Everyone out. I order all of you to leave us alone. You heard her, guys. Everyone out. I can't believe that worked. You did great. Now we just gotta blend in with the crowd. Okay, and then what do we do after that? Then we get the hell out of here, and we get joy of freedom. Come on, let's go. What are you waiting for? Uh, Justine, I'm really sorry about this. What? Hands near now. You're under arrest. You really shouldn't have lied to us. I don't understand. They found out my plan, Justine. It was either me going to prison or you. Mm-hmm. And guess who we chose? I'm sorry. Get on your knees. We need to check you for weapons. Where are we going? We're taking you to stay with the other reject princesses. Other princesses? Yeah. You're not the only one the princess screwed over. Now come on, let's go. Girls, look. Fresh meat. <laughs> Keep walking. Please don't leave me in here. It's not fair. Why does the prince get to go free? He was the one who planned this whole thing. We made a deal with the prince. What can I say? Life isn't fair. Hello. Let me tell you the truth about the prince. So you're telling me the prince has been doing this for years? Yes, they let him trick innocent girls like us, just for fun. But why would they do that? Because they want to stay in power. The whole blue mark is a lie. But why? Because they don't care about us. They are wicked. Why don't we give the new girl a haircut? No, please wait. What if I told you I could help you get revenge on the prince? We've already tried that. There's no way out of here. Well, how did you get those scissors? I found them on the floor when they took me out to use the restroom. They let you out to use the bathroom? Yeah, but they have a guard come with you. I barely snuck these in. I think I might have an idea on how to get us out of here, ladies. I think I might have an idea on how to get us out of here, ladies. You sure they don't know you have those scissors? Duh, otherwise they'd try and take them away. Well then, which one of you guys is the most violent? Definitely Greta. I have lots of pent-up anger for the prince. Greta, I think it's time you release that anger. I have to use the bathroom. Oh, I need to go too. No, one person at a time. Oh, but please, I really need to go. Get back. I said no. That was for locking me in this hellhole. Oh, shit. We gotta get out of here now. We made it. We're free. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Well, speak of the devil. Gorda, do you still have those scissors? I have them right here. Good. You know what to do with them. What are you talking about? I would start running if I were you. W w wait a minute. Ladies, let's get them. I got my mark. Let me see. Okay, one, two, three. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what? It's blue. Blue? But what is... You have to cover that up. <laughs> but what is it... Cover it up. Okay, okay, jeesh. Do you think this is good enough? I can still kind of see it. No, nah, you're good. No one's going to notice. Okay. Oh my gosh, did you hear? Some people are getting blue marks. Blue? <laughs> Oof, so weird. Um, excuse me? Blue is royalty. Say what now? You didn't know that? Well, I kind of feel sorry for the blue marked people. Wait, Why? Well, apparently, the guy and the girl have some sort of arranged marriage. That is not fair. Oop, it's time for the mark check. Better hope yours appears soon, because here they come. Uh, who's they? <gasps> no! What's wrong, Holly? My soulmate, Jared, he's 80% nice and 20% naughty, but that still means he's going to be on the naughty list. He is the son of Jack Frost. But Winky, he saved my life last year. He's been nice. Plus, I think... He's going to propose to me soon. Holly, your father wants to talk to you. Yes, Dad? Is it true that Jared is thinking of proposing? Well, he's sort of been hinting at it. He needs to be 100% nice before Christmas. But, Dad, Christmas is only a few days away. If he is not off the naughty list, then you can't be together. I used my ice powers to make that for you. I hope you like it. I love it, Jared. Thank you. Hey, watch this. No, Jared... <laughs> you can't be using your ice powers like that. Why not? It's funny. Because you're still 20% naughty. And my dad said, if you don't get on the nice list by Christmas, we can't be together anymore. What? I have to get a 100% nice score? Yeah, I'm sorry. My dad is super strict. We have to be together. We're soulmates. Plus, I'm more nice than I am naughty. I think my dad's just afraid that you're going to turn into a supervillain just like your dad, Jack Frost. I won't, and I'm going to get a 100% score, just for you. Well, if it isn't Santa's little daughter... Um, who are you? The Tooth Fairy's daughter, and I'm going to be the one to marry Jared, not you. What? Nighty-night. <laughs> Holly, wake up!
Is this dental floss? Yep, and it's really strong, so you won't be getting free. Now to turn into you. Huh? Just watch me work my magic. Ta-da. Why are you doing this? I had a crush on Jared first, so I'm gonna make him misbehave so you two can never be together. He's gonna know it's not me. We'll see about that. I'll be back to check on you later. No, his score is going down. What is she having him do? No, his score went down again. It's getting really cold in here. He has to notice that it's not me. Jared, look, here comes another person. Make them slip and fall with your ice powers. No, this just feels mean now. Oh, please, Jared, we were just messing around. You sure your dad doesn't mind if I act naughty? Yes, I told you, he doesn't care anymore. <laughs> now, Jared, what do you say you and I be really naughty and we can go to your place and you can unwrap me like a little Christmas present? Nah, you're not Holly. What? Of course I am. My soulmate would never say- Is that a purple streak in your hair? No. Hey, are those wings? <sighs> Dang it, the magic is wearing off. Where is she? I'm not telling. Ow! You know you're gonna make your nice score go down. It's going down a lot more if you okay, don't- Okay, wait. I'll show you where she is. Just follow me. Holly! Holly, come on, wake up. I don't like this, come on. Oh no, I think the blizzard killed her. I think the blizzard killed her. No. How long has she been in here? Over five hours, and your ice powers aren't gonna be much help to her. She needs someone who could warm her up. I think I know just the guy. Ugh. Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to save my soulmate. Wait a minute. Aren't you Jack Frost's son? Yes, and this is Santa's daughter. Can you please help her? She's been out in a blizzard for hours. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. But if you're really Jack Frost's son, you should leave. This place will kill you. Not until I know she's okay. There. That should have helped her. Oh, Holly. Jared? You're... you're okay. Wait, what's wrong? The heat... it's too hot. I, I can't get up. <laughs> Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to help me. If I touch him, I'll only make him worse. It's okay, Holly. All that matters is that you're safe. Jared, you reached 100% on your niceness score. We can get married. You can't give up on me now. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. Holly? Jared! Do you need some help? Yes, please. Okay, let's get him up. Okay, we got him back in the snow. Now we just have to wait and hope he wakes up. You really you love him, don't you? With all my heart. Jared? Holly. You okay? Yeah, never better. <laughs> Jared, you were willing to sacrifice yourself to save my daughter. So, you have my full blessing to marry her. Thank you, Mr. Claus. That means a lot. Looks like you both are on the nice list. And do you take Jared Frost to be your husband? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you officially Mr. and Mrs. Frost. Jared, what did I tell you about making it snow inside the house? Ah, uh, babe, this isn't me. But if you're not using your powers, then... <coughs> no way! Looks like baby Crystal is taken up after me. Happy birthday! Look what came in the mail! An egg? It's your very own magical creature! Wait, really? Yes, but you have to take good care of it and wait for it to hatch. But I want to see it now! Don't give me that attitude! You have to be patient. It will hatch on your 17th birthday. <clears throat> it hasn't hatched. No, not yet. I'm gonna take it to class with me. Please be careful. Don't let it get stolen. I won't. Guys, mine just hatched. I got a panda dragon. I got a koala unicorn. What about you? Well, actually, mine's still in the egg. <laughs> Yours is probably dead. It is not. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please hatch. I have waited so long for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Hi there, little guy. Uh -uh. That's a very rare creature you got there. Who are you? I found them. I'm gonna need you both to come with me. What? Actually, I just remembered. I need to go back home. No, you need to come with- Hey! Honey, your egg hatched. Let's celebrate. No, Mom, now is not the time. I was being followed home, but I think I lost him. Excuse me, what? You were being followed? Yeah, by this creepy guy who said my creature was super rare and he wanted me to come with him. Oh no, you and your creature are in danger. What? Open up! I'm pretty sure he's a creature hunter. You two need to hide. But what are you gonna do? Don't worry, I'll get rid of him. Just go hide now. And don't come out no matter what. I know you're here.
surprise, found you. Now let's go. I said let's go. Ooh. Whoa, maybe now I can kind of see why they wanted you. Honey? Oh. Mom! Mom, you're hurt. I tried to stop him, but he was too strong. Oh. I'll help you. What is it doing? <gasps> Whoa, it... It healed me. This was so worth the wait. What? Nothing, sweetheart. I just, I can't believe it. He won't be passed out for long. I need to go get something. I'll be right back. So, you have laser eyes and the power to heal people? What else can you do? Okay, what is taking her so long? Shh, shh, shh. I'm here to help you. You're telling me that I was stolen? Yes, when you were a baby, your mom stole you from your dad. He sent me to look for you. You're lying. I'm not. You need to come with me. You're not safe here. Well, look who's up. You're not going to take her creature. Oh, but I will. Mom, did you really steal me from dad? Yes, after our divorce, all I asked him for was your egg, but he wouldn't agree to that. So you didn't even want me? Of course not. And for 17 years, I've had to put up with you. But you know what? It was all worth it because your creature is amazing. Kid, you need to come with me now. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> you just... <sighs> Hello? Oh, please, wake up. What happened? I saved your life. Mom, what did you do to her? You too. You used your laser vision on her? Yes, I protect you. Thank you. Molly! Is that you? My name isn't Molly. Oh, but it used to be. Before your mother took you from me. I can't believe I found you. Dad? It's me, honey. I think it's time you finally come home. Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Polo? Marco? Safe. Emily! I'm so glad I found you, sissy. I was so scared. It was so dark. Marco! Polo! <laughs> you actually fell for it. Bessie, don't scare me like that. Chill, I was just joking. It's serious. My little sister Emily was chosen to play the game this morning. She almost didn't find me in time. <laughs> What's wrong with Cynthia? Her boyfriend died during the game of Marco Polo. He wasn't able to find her in time. That's awful. Everything's dark. Oh no. Marco? Everything's dark. Oh no. Marco? Polo! Marco! Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Thank goodness you found me. I'm so glad you were far. Choose who will play. You're making me choose? Well, I can't choose my mother. Marco? Polo! Marco! Polo! Polo? Polo! Bestie, why can't I hear you? Polo! Marco! Oh. Failure. <laughs> choose. You're making me choose again? Oh. You're up early. Unfortunately. Honey, I need a favor. Can what the? You drive your sister to school to... Day. Hey, when did you change your clothes? Get back here. This is a robbery. What? First thing in the morning? Give me your car keys now. Ah! Oh. <coughs> oh uh... Brianna, you're late. You'll only have 10 minutes left to write the test. Don't worry. Just hand me the test. I got this. Come on, we've been paused long enough. Can you press play now? Come on, we've been paused long enough. Can you press play now? How are you not paused but everybody else is? I don't know why, but I have the same ability as you. I can pause time. We must be the chosen ones. I'm sorry, but this is real life, not Star Wars. Wait a minute. So if you press pause, it stops time not only for you, but for me too? This restaurant you bought me is amazing. You know I know how to treat a lady. Let's kiss. Why aren't you breathing? James! Okay, I can't wait any longer. I'm leaving. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure, what? 
Well, I just think you're super fine and... Brianna, hurry up and unpause it before I lose my riz. Um, I'm not paused. What? Let's play a game. Selected. Why would you do that? One of us is going to die now. Yes, but one of us is going to get money. What game are we playing? A game of odds. Heads or tails? Tails. All right, I choose heads then. No, it's tails. Uh, a redo? <laughs> Just the granola bar? Yes, how much? Let's play a game. Selected. What game? Go fish. The ten of hearts? Go fish. Joker. What? How did you know? You're a cheater! Um, I'm home. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. One of us is going to die now. What game? What? You need to choose a game. You need to choose one you're good at. So that you can live. No, I don't want you to die. Sissy, just choose a game. Okay, how about we draw toothpicks? Whoever chooses the shortest stick loses. This is a game of luck. You're supposed to choose a game you're good at. I don't know what game I'm good at. You choose first. I got the short stick. Wait. Let's play a game. I want to make a deal with you. If I win the game, you spare my little sister. But if I lose, you kill us both and you get double the prize money. Deal. What game are we playing? Prince Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess, I can't. Why not? My mom says I have an arranged marriage to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's Day? <laughs> princess Elizabeth! Wait. It's not what it looks like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was with you, princess. I'm just gonna go. Elizabeth, you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. No more dating. What? I'm sorry, but you don't have a good taste in men. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, meet your husband-to-be, Prince Darren. Hello. Mwah. She's beautiful. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Oh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. This is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you? You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please. Get her. Please take it. This is my last heart. And if it breaks, something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, princess. Get her. Run. But what about... Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, your majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth. Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know, because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, mother. I didn't ask. Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, your highness. You can play all the games you want, princess. I will marry you, and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not going to find him. We shall see. Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, princess. I'm sorry. Where is the princess's heart? Well, that's the thing, Prince Darren. You may have caught me, but you'll never find where I hid the princess's heart. How dare you hide my daughter's heart? My queen, I say we send him to the torture chamber. No! It's the only way to get him to talk. Mother, please. Elizabeth, Prince Darren is right. He still won't talk. We only got his name. William. Ugh. Mother, let me speak to him, please. He will tell me where my heart is. 
Oh my goodness, what have they done to you? I promised to keep your heart safe, and I don't break my promises. I can't let you suffer for me. But the prince that you're supposed to marry, I can tell. He is evil. I know, William. But that's my problem, not yours. Where's my heart? Finally, her heart is where it belongs. All right, Mother. Prince Darren has my heart. Now let William go. No, dear. I'm afraid I can't do that. William is going to be killed. William is going to be killed for stealing your heart and hiding it. It must be done. I told him to do it. Oh, Elizabeth. You're just trying to protect him, I know. It was such a tough decision, Princess. May I speak to her alone? Of course, Darren. Don't be so sad. Get away from me. <laughs> we shall be married tomorrow. I will never marry you. Oh, but you will. That is, if you want William to live. Marry me tomorrow, and I'll convince your mother to let him live. And if you try anything, I will break your last heart. Do you understand? Do you accept Prince Darren as your husband? I do. Excellent. Now may I kiss the bride. Stop! That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. It's true, Mother. He's been threatening me. What? I warned you not to speak against no. me. Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because it was my last heart, not yours. William! Stop! Stop the wedding. That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. No, it's true, Mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me. No! Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because that was my last heart, oh, not yours. William, his last heart, it's broken. What happened? This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter. And that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I would like to play. <laughs> Oh no, are you all out of talking time? Well, there's always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? And so I regret this is running. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wants me to... Yes, the best thing is he's just a bridge. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. <gasps> How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. The breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a... A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh, boy, you're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know a way you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Wait, she made this? Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is going to find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Uh, there you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. 
Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid, Ingrid did this to me. She... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm going to get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. All right, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep, she told me the news this morning. Yes, darling, I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling, I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you up to boarding school. <laughs> Here, Anne, take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. <sighs> Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar, she's not even pregnant. Oh, it's time to expose her. But what better time to do that than her wedding day? Ugh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me? Well, do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, would it happen to be on this phone? How did you? Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now, why don't you just fetch? No! Oh, thank goodness it's not broken. It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine, I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. Why? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship, the Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, but that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the, the Pirate King had? Tell me, what is your father's name? You know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No, your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute, you knew my father? Yes, we were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. 
He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates, the cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... Well, soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape Not in. so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William! Where are we? We're on Skull Island, princess. In the exact spot we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, your majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, love. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be married? Speech? What's this? It's a new thing started by the government. You're given a certain amount of words a day, and you must use all of them, or else. Well, I only have 18 words today. That shouldn't be hard to use. Brianna, how many words do you need to use today? 18. Wow, you're so lucky. I got 5,000 words I have to use today, so I have to talk super fast, and I have to use lots and lots of words. Talk, 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 talk. Can't stop talking, can't stop talking. <laughs> the day's almost done. Did you use all your words? Yes. These are my last words, too. Oh, no, 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 Honey, what's wrong? I got 100,000 words to use today. How can I use all those words? You'll have to try your best. Understand. I only had 55 words, now I have so many. What's wrong with your voice? I lost my voice talking so much yesterday. I won't be able to use all my words. No, no, you can do it. You can. I can hardly talk. I want to switch my words back. Hello? The government? Are you there? God? Bestie, keep on trying to talk. The day is not over yet. I... I can't... Bestie, I'm so sorry. I love you. It's okay. It's not your fault. I heard from your best friend's mom she passed away. She couldn't use all her words. Are you okay? Yeah. I'll be okay. Your soulmate heart magnet came in. Yay! This isn't a heart. It will only make a heart with your soulmate. The magnetic force will pull you towards him, helping you find your soulmate. Wow. All right, kids. Time to finger paint. Yay! My heart necklace is making a noise. The magnetic force pulling you towards your soulmate. <laughs> oh. Your soulmate must have been somewhere close. Too bad there was a wall in the way. What's going on? My soulmate must be near. Take me to him. Hey, Bree, where are you off to? Can I come with? My necklace is taking me to my soulmate. <laughs> Why is it pulling me to the floor? Girl, are you okay? It's on the other half of my necklace. I didn't find him. Oh no, your soulmate must have lost his necklace. I found the other half of my necklace, but I didn't find him. Oh no, your soulmate must have lost his necklace. We have to find out who it is. I need to make an announcement. No, you will not. Attention everyone, there has been a missing soulmate heart magnet found in the hallway. If anyone is missing their soulmate magnet, come to the office immediately. Give that back to me. You are in big trouble. I heard you guys found a soulmate magnet. I lost mine. Really? You must be my soulmate then. Yeah, I lost it back when I was six years old. Six? What? My soulmate would have lost his magnet in high school, not when he was six. No one else has been bored for missing magnet. Maybe I'll never find my soulmate. I hear a soulmate magnet was found. I lost mine last time I was here visiting the school. <gasps> the princess, your soulmate! You're my soulmate? How many lives did I get? You only got one. Just one? What am I supposed to do with only one life? Hey, I'm going skydiving later. Want to come? Jer, hey, Brianna, are you coming? We can't. She only has one life. She can't take any risks. 
I used one of my lives yesterday. It was so crazy. I jumped from a 10 story building. Wow. Hey, Brianna, how did you use your lives? I haven't. I've only ever had one life. So I was thinking of going bungee jumping later. Who's coming? I am. But Brianna, you only have one life. I know, but I'm tired of not taking risks because I only have one life. We'll be attached a rope. It's safe, right? It's pretty high. Hey guys, I was thinking maybe we jump without the rope. No, no, I can't. I you first. <laughs> Dude, you killed her. She only had one life. How am I still alive? How am I still alive? I can't believe you killed her. I didn't know. Her lives are written on her head. Guys, chill. I'm still alive. I'm literally right here. <laughs> it's almost like she's still here. I am. <sighs> Mom, you are not going to believe this. The craziest thing just happened. Emily, have you heard from your sister? She's not answering any of my calls. No. Mom, I'm right here. Mom? Mom? Oh, no. I must be dead. I'm a ghost. I guess I'm just going to have to live the rest of my life as a ghost. Wait a minute. Maybe I can do cool ghost things like walk through walls or people. I'm going to try it. Oh, watch where you're going. I am so sorry. Weirdo. Wait, you can see me? Don't go get... 7 a.m. waking up in the morning. Gotta be fresh. Gotta go downstairs. Hey, we're gonna have a good day. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. I've got to go. Stop. In the name of love. What? What do you mean? I should have bought you flowers. I can buy myself flowers. And held your hand. I can hold my own hand. I can help falling in love. I might kill my ex. Not the best idea. Ow! What did you do that for? No, no, stop! In the name... I just killed my ex. I might kill my ex. Not the best idea. Ow! What did you do that for? No, no, stop! In the name... I just killed my ex. I just killed my ex. Not the best idea. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. Killed his girlfriend next. How would I get here? You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. Mama. Just killed the man. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Run, run, run away. Let's play a game. Selected. Why would you do that? One of us is going to die now. Yes, but one of us is going to get money. What game are we playing? A game of odds. Heads or tails? Tails. All right, I choose heads then. No, it's tails. Uh, a redo? Just the granola bar? Yes. How much? Let's play a game. Selected. What game? Go fish. The ten of hearts? Go fish. <sighs> Joker. What? How did you know? You're a cheater! Um, I'm home. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. One of us is going to die now. What game? What? You need to choose a game. You need to choose one you're good at. So that you can live. No, I don't want you to die. Sissy, just choose a game. Okay, how about we draw toothpicks? Whoever chooses the shortest stick loses. This is a game of luck. You're supposed to choose a game you're good at. I don't know what game I'm good at. You choose first. I got the short stick. Wait. Let's play a game. I want to make a deal with you. If I win the game, you spare my little sister. But if I lose, you kill us both and you get double the prize money. Deal. What game are we playing? 
rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, another day, another charge. <clears throat> what? Mom, I need to borrow your charger. No, I'm using it. I'm only at 10%. I'm going to die. Here, hurry up. <clears throat> it's not working. Let's try this. That's the emergency charger. This is an emergency. <clears throat> It didn't work. There must be something wrong with my charging port. Did I hear something wrong with the charging port? Hold still. Hold what? What happened? You made it worse. I'm at 2% now. There's one more thing we can try. Come with me. Wait. So, you need more charge? Yeah, my dad says you know what to do. <laughs> I have just the thing. Dad, this guy seems sketchy. Put this to your charging port, and whatever you do, don't move. Wait, why can't I move? No question, just do it. I am tired of getting electrocuted. Look at your energy. 200%? But that's not even possible. I have so much energy. I feel so great. My energy hasn't went down all day. Not even 1%. That's great, but maybe you should take a break, Brianna. Not a chance. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I feel great. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I really do. My energy is at its max, and I am loving it. Woo! <laughs> Bye, Mom. I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you put on the makeup? I ran out. Oh, great. Well, looks like you're not going to school. What? Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair, and no one's even going to notice. I said no. You know what will happen if people see that mark, they'll start to ask questions, and I'll get taken away. I know. I'll buy you makeup when I get back. I love you. I love you more. I love you most. See you after work. I had a big test today, and I'm not supposed to miss it. No one's gonna notice this. I'll just take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Hey, what's that on your neck? I've seen that mark before. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You must be the lost princess. Legend says you have powers. Powers? What? No, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna Wait. happen. I'm home. What's wrong? Something happened. Who else saw the mark? Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost princess. <laughs> you, a princess, please. Just look at your chubby little face. You look nothing like royalty. You must never go outside again. Never? Yes, you've been exposed. It's much too dangerous now. Don't be so sad, dear. I know. I'll go get you some food. You just relax. Watch some TV. This just in, a teenage boy is on the run from the cops today after allegedly stealing a crown from the royal family. Mom? Mom? Jeez, who designed these locks? <gasps> that is definitely not Mom. He's probably here for my mark. Good thing I have some more makeup. Whoa, wasn't expecting anyone to be home, but hey. Stay back. I'm warning you. I'm highly trained in the art of origami. Isn't that paper folding? I was kind of hoping you wouldn't know what that was. Relax, dollface. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to stash something. So, if you'll excuse me. I just knocked him out. I just knocked him out. I wonder what he was trying to stash. A crown! This must be from the royal family. <gasps> Mom's home. I gotta hide him. Riley, I'm tired. Please give me a hand, Mazar. I will, but after. Right now, I wanted to tell you that you don't have to worry about me going outside anymore. I told you it's too dangerous. <sighs> no, Mom, I can protect myself because I just- Enough! Now I'm the bad guy. You didn't have to yell. I'm so sorry, Riley. I've just been so stressed out trying to keep you safe. I really need that massage. Do you feel better now? Yes, thank you. You always make me feel better, dear. Now, do you promise you won't try and go outside? I promise. I, I don't know what I was thinking. That's a good girl. Well, I'm off to my date, and if all goes well, I might just bring you home a new father. <laughs> okay, um, wake up. <sighs> Whoa, what the? Did you tape me to this chair? Actually, yes. I did, but I'll be asking the questions here. I want to know why you have this. Hey, you went into my bag? You went into my house. Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you give me no choice. I'm gonna have to do the look. 
Huh, that uh, usually makes the girls go crazy. What's that on your neck? <gasps> the makeup must have come off. Well, here's your bag back. Thank you. Oh. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Oh no, your bump got worse. No, it's fine, really. Hey, just let me see it. What the? It's gone. How'd you do that? I don't know. Wait, the X on your neck, healing powers? You're the lost princess. Why does everyone keep saying that? I look nothing like royalty. Have you seen my face? Yeah, I'm looking at it. That's why I call you Dollface, because you're cute. What's your real name? Riley. Well, Riley, everyone knows that the royal family had a daughter that went missing 18 years ago. And how old are you? 18. Listen, I think you may have been kidnapped. No, I know my mom, and she would never do something like that. Is that your mom in that photo? Yeah. She looks nothing like you. You should come with me. I'm pretty sure that you're in- Ugh! She's not going anywhere. <coughs> now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So, of course, there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid because family members, they are worth a lot more than money, right? I'd turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. What? You're sweating. No. You okay? Um, no, I actually think that I might be bleeding, so I'm gonna go wash my face. I'll be right back. Oh, shit. I knew it. The makeup came off. What the? Ellie. No. You're a hider. I can explain. You little liar. I'm telling mom and dad. Kim's a hider. What? What? She faked her mark. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I, I was scared. Attention. The game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No. You have to. Just don't let us find you. But hide now, damn it. Get out of here. This is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I gonna do? <coughs> Shh, listen, you're about to get caught. Hey, I said you're about to get caught. Come on, let's go. You're a seeker, you're trying to trick me. This mark is fake. If I were a real seeker, you'd be knocked out by now. Just play along. What? Shh, don't say anything. Well, well, what do we have here? You caught a hider, huh? Yeah, she was a hard one to find, but I finally caught her. We were just leaving, actually. Nah, she's not going anywhere. Don't touch her! Um, are hiders allowed to fight back? No, not really. Run! Oh, shit. Quick, in there! Whoa, wait, what is that? An underground tunnel I made. Now, come on! I am not going down there. I don't even know if I can really trust you. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? We have to go now. We'll be safe down here. Why are you helping me? Because you. Who gave you that necklace? My sister. Get rid of that necklace. Your sister is tracking you. No, she. she wouldn't. Oh, yes, she would. We need to keep moving. No. Excuse me? Yeah, I want to know why you came out of nowhere like, like some ninja and saved me, but you don't even know me. It's because you remind me of my sister who got traded in by my family. They traded in your sister for a million dollars? Yeah, and from then on, I've been trying to protect all the hiders I can. What was that? They found my tunnel. I'll distract them, you run. No, I'm not gonna leave you. Yes, you are. I'm not losing another girl on my watch. Now go! <laughs> Ellie? Found you. You're it. Oh. Sorry, sis. That necklace led me right to you. Time to get my million. Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. 
You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. Do you have a brother that's a hider? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your brother. No. Want to end the game? It'll be okay. No, please. Congratulations, your bravery has made you leader. Our marks are gone. You pick the next game.